Hello, it's Film Frenzy, and today I'll be giving you the recap of the Golden Globes Awards and my reaction to who won. So, let's get started. So, the Golden Globes came out last night, and overall, I thought it was a pretty solid night. Seth Meyers, I thought, did great as the host, and the awards, honestly, I wasn't, I'm not too emotionally invested in any of the oscar like, any of the nominated movies this year, because, like, Lots of my favorite movies from the year like weren't even nominated. There are a couple that I love that, but overall, I wasn't super ecstatic about the outcome of the awards. So let's get started, shall we? So I'm I'm just gonna say what I got on my predictions. I got 11 out of the 25 correct. So that's pretty terrible. But remember, I'm film frenzy, not TV frenzy. So. All those TV awards, I'm not too good at that. I don't really watch that much TV. I watch Stranger Things, and I watch lots of the superhero shows and some of the comedies, but nothing that was really nominated besides Stranger Things. So I didn't really know too much about it, and I got most of them wrong. But I got some of the movie ones right, and there was a lot of surprises, though, too. So I'm going to go th down through. We're going to start with Best Picture Drama. Okay, so also, I'm only doing movie for this video, not TV. So Best Picture Drama. So I thought... Shape of Water was going to win. That seemed like a clear favorite, right? Guillermo del Toro wins Best Director. Spoiler, that's who won. I, I predicted that. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. This is the long front runner. When it first came out, I was like, I think this is going to win Best Picture at the Oscars. But then, just three billboards outside Evan, Missouri just wins somehow. I was like, what? Like, that did not seem like... It was kind of crazy. And I hadn't seen it last night, but I actually saw it earlier today. And... Didn't love it too much, I'm going to be honest. Like, it was really upsetting for me that I didn't like it that much. And this is the most prestigious award at the Golden Globes. And I didn't even like the movie that won it. So that kind of sucked. I, like, I'm not sure why everybody loves Three Billboards that much. It was not, it was just, it felt like a mess of a movie to me. But that's what won. Really surprised, really disappointed. Next up on my list, we got Best Actress in a Drama. So, I didn't really know what to put here. I said Meryl Streep because I was like, uh, yeah, they love Meryl Streep. But nope, The Post didn't win a single award, even though it has Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, and Spielberg. Jeez, like, that's, that's kind of crazy. But the, I thought maybe if it wasn't her, it would be Sally Hawkins, right, for A Shape of Water. But nope, another three billboards went Frances McDormand. She was pretty good, but eh, I would prefer somebody else. Now we got Best Actor in a Drama. So I didn't know what to do here. I thought maybe Daniel Day-Lewis because, you know, they love Daniel Day-Lewis. This is his last performance for Fan Thread. But they chose Gary Oldman, which was my second option because I've heard how great he is in Darkest Hour. I'm excited to see that soon. It looks, like, really cool. I love those historical movies. Um, Best Picture Comedy. Okay, so I got this one right, Lady Bird. I would have loved to see I, Tanya win. I haven't seen Lady Bird yet, so I can't judge. And it looks pretty great. But I really, really would love to see Italian win. Now, I got Best Actress in a Comedy. So I thought for sure this would be Margot Robbie, right? Because I loved her performance in Italian. I thought maybe it might have been the best like female lab performance I've ever seen in any movie. That's just how good I liked it. I know, crazy, right? But Saoirse Ronan won for Lady Bird. I haven't seen it yet, but it doesn't seem at, like anybody could beat her. Like, what are the chances that in one category so like there's two the, my two favorite female performances so chances are margot robbie in my opinion she, i wish she won but i thought she was gonna win but she did actor and comedy got this right james franco really glad to see that he like was so good he really embodied tommy wiseau i love that movie i've seen the room and wow like disaster artist really lives up to that <laughs> I uh, got animated movie. This was easy. Coco, obviously, it's the front runner. This is a weak year for animated movies, and that was a really strong animated film. Farin, I thought it'd be first they killed my father because this is like directed by Angelina Jolie. It's gotten a lot of hype, you know, from Cambodia. I've heard it a lot, but um, in the Fade one, I think this was the one submitted by like three different European countries. Like I think it was like Germany and like two others. Never heard of it. Don't really care to be honest. Sorry to Germans out there. Um, supporting actress, I got this one right, Allison Janney. Apparently, lots of people thought like the mom, I forget her name at the moment, from um, Lady Bird would win. But I thought Allison Janney, she was great in Itania. Mean, it seemed like the role that the like the um, the farm press and all the award shows would eat up, and they sure did. I think she was great. Glad to see Allison Janney win. She's an excellent actress. Um, 
now I have supporting actor. Oh, this one was tough. I was really indecisive about it, but I was surprised. So I thought maybe Army Hammer, he was great in Call Me By Your Name, but that movie got no awards, which was really sad because it was such an awesome movie. But instead, Sam Rockwell won. So even though I didn't love Three Billboards, which I saw earlier today, I thought Sam Rockwell was the highlight by far. He well deserved to win. I'm glad he won. Now that I've seen it, I can totally see, like, it was one of his best performances. And I freaking love him in The Way Way Back, which you can see right there, one of my favorite movies of all time. So I love Sam Rockwell. He did an excellent multi-layered performance in Three Billboards. And without him, it would have been just a terrible movie instead of a not very good movie, for me at least. Then, best director, Guillermo del Toro, like I said before, makes sense. That it's Shape of Water. It's his magnum opus. It's totally, like, a director's movie. Screenplay, I didn't know what to put, so I just put Aaron Sorkin for Molly's Game, because, you know, it's Aaron Sorkin, but that, that's not a front-runner in any race, and I was wrong, and it was actually three billboards. I think it has some nice, like, lines in the script, but overall, like, the plot is such a mess, there's so much stuff put together, I'm really disappointed to see that win. I thought it was not a very good script because of the plot, and I could see, like, probably 15 other movies that should have won over it, but it didn't. Disappointment. Disappointment. And got last two, music time. Score, I thought for sure Hans Zimmer was going to win for Dunkirk. I've heard it's insane and it makes the movie. But Shape of Water won. I can see that. I haven't seen the movie yet, but it seems like one of those movies that has a good score. I've heard it's pretty good. Um, finally, This Is Me for Best Song. I got that right. I'm really glad it won. I love that song. Grady Showman's a pretty solid movie, and that is the best song of the film. So I'm really glad to see This Is Me win. That wraps up my recap of the Golden Globe Awards. We'll see how this translates into the Oscar season as it gets closer to the Oscars and nominations. Stay tuned for when I cover the SAG Awards and my top 10 movies of 2017. I know I keep on delaying it, but it is coming very soon. I'm already halfway done. I was just trying to see a couple more movies, but sadly, three billboards ain't making it. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later from Film Frenzy. Peace out.